Hi everyone, glad you could join us. Frank here from the Yankee Boy Mine. So we haven't produced a new video for a while. We've been really busy this summer uh, giving tours of the mine. And then we've been mostly working on stuff outside. So we did a whole bunch of road work to get all the way to the top of the mine so we can get up to that. Most of it's probably mental. You don't like dark places that are wet and uh, you're claustrophobic. You have a bunch of phobias and stuff, but it's not going to be the place for you. So we got a couple of exciting things uh, to share with you, so we decided to make a new video. Um, next, uh, probably winter, we're planning on maybe doing some more exploring. So uh, we, uh, we got one of these uh, oxygen monitors, like we get stuff given to us all the time. And uh, was, the monitors we had before, they cost a couple hundred bucks and they're disposable ones. This one here is, uh, is uh, we're going to try this out. So it's called uh, Topes. It was just given to us. Uh, so we're just going to see how it works. Um, if they're about a hundred bucks, so they're a four gas monitor, so we'll try it out and we'll, we'll tell you what we think of it. What we're up to today is, uh, we're doing a bunch of timbering inside the mine, so it's been a while since we've taken you guys inside, but, uh, the number one shaft, there's a level 50 feet up, the 2650 level, um, so it goes up the shaft, this internal shaft, the only way to get to it is to rope down from the 27, or to climb up from the 26. So it goes in a ways and then it's collapsed. There's an old ore chute. So what we're doing is um, we're going to build the uh, the ore chute from the very bottom of the 26 all the way up to the 2650. Then we're going to take all that material from the collapse, throw it in the ore chute, then we just put it right into the car and then tram it right outside. So we're going to finish the ore chute. So that's what we're up to. We're, we've got a bunch of wood we've uh, milled and we're taking it in. And uh, we'll show you uh, how we're how things are progressing. Just to refresh your memory, this is a mine plan here. So uh, 2650 level is this yellow uh, line here. So this is where the shaft is right there that we built the man way to the top. And you come in here and this is where that collapse is right there that you see in the video. Uh, this just goes this far and ends there. So we can use this for a backfill. We've never been in, in or seen any of this yellow stuff here. This is all underground. This is a new level that we've never seen before. Um, we know from here, it goes up to this uh, pink, which is the, the, the 2700 level above it. We have actually been in this part because there's a stope right here, and we've seen this part. We've never been in any of this part. So that's why we're excavating all this to see what all what's all in here. So um, we'll see what uh, what we're going to find. And it tells you actually what the level of, of everything is. If you start breathing on it, It'll tell you exactly what the level is. And you can set, so they're down to 19.8, so that set the alarm off. And you can set the, the alarm for it, so it's actually pretty cool. I mean, for a hundred bucks, it's, uh, I think it's a pretty good deal. But we'll uh, we'll try it out, we'll put through his paces, and we'll see how it performs for us. Alright, so we have our uh, timber loaded up onto Tippy there, and uh, so uh, as Jeff Williams would say, come on, let's go! <laughs> So now we have power going all the way back to the 400, which is kind of nice. Um, so the reason we wanted power, so I just had a light, is because it'd be handy for the, we're going to probably need a winch to get the stuff up here. We got a 12 volt uh, winch. So this is what we're up to. We're, uh, we're going to put these timbers in, we're going to build that up. 2650 levels right on the top of that row of timbers right up there, so it's 50 feet up. So already, you know, with the boards, we're just about halfway up, and maybe that'll be enough of a shoot. Um, because then this stuff probably can't spill out on this side. We'll see how that goes. We're not, we haven't decided whether we're going to timber, going to put the boards all the way to the very top of that uh, chute, or just leave it like that. We'll see. 
There, we've been busy sawing up more timber for the shaft, and uh, we'll show you how it's going. What we've been doing as we get further up is we've been using this uh, winch that was on my old truck. And uh, in interesting problem that we had is the, um, the solenoid is screwed up on it so that the remote uh, start doesn't work. So, um, so basically the way these work is, is uh, they just hook a positive and negative to the motor and it goes one way and if you reverse it, it goes the other way. So uh, all we do is we just cut a couple of things and we just reverse the battery and put it on there to turn it on and off. So. And then uh, we just charge it at night. And yeah, it works pretty good. We just have to keep, uh, we have this uh, rope all the way to the very top and then we just have an ascender hooked on there with a pulley. Yeah, we're making out pretty good now. So we've got uh, one, two, three, four cross members on going up there and there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six left up all the way up there. So we've decided um, we're going to make a ladder. So this ladder here, we're going to continue it all the way up, uh, about 40 feet up to that level there. Um, so we were thinking we were going to leave those stalls in there because they're part of the original part of the mine. Um, but I'm not thinking that we want to uh, uh, put a ladder on those old rotten stalls. So we're going to remove all those stalls and retimber this whole thing. So we're going to have a brand new ore chute going from the bottom all the way to the top. We're going to come down with our chainsaw and we're going to start cutting those timbers out of there and having them fall all the way down to the main hall level here. And then uh, we can put them in the car and uh, trim them out. Alright, so we're up at the 2700 level and we're just going to put our harness on and head down. So we actually cleared this up a little bit more since last time you were here. There was a platform that was all kind of falling down, so we cleared it all out of here. So, so this is what the manway looks like at the top. It's actually in pretty good shape uh, compared to the bottom. It's all gone, so there's an ore chute behind that on the other side of it. So it's still pretty much all there. So uh, yeah, so we're just going to head down the ropes. And we're going to head down to the 2650 level. Alright, so we made it up to the 2650 level. You know, it's difficult coming down and getting into the mouth of this because you're hanging out way out there and you've got to try to scramble up on this loose stuff. So we put another anchor and the trouble is we, we didn't have enough power to get it any further than that. And it's a little bit, but this is good and tight. So uh, this is really just a deflection to bring the rope over to here so make it easier to go over the lip. So if this did pull out, which we've tested with our weight, um, we're still hooked up to the top there, so it just means you would drop about 10 feet, which wouldn't be fun, but well, <laughs> but we can survive it. Next time we come up, we're going to drill another anchor in there to back that up, but it seems to be solid. So this is the 2650 level. Um, we're, uh, we're, we thought we were going to take and uh, put all this stuff down the ore chute, but we don't necessarily need to do that. Um, because if we're just going in here at the wheelbarrow, we could possibly just uh, bring some planks and make it kind of level and just go level this out and just go over top of all this, which would make it a lot easier, be a lot less stuff to shovel. But um, so the whole purpose of doing all this is to get back into this ore chute here that's collapsed. And we think it goes up into the 27 levels. So, and according to the, the mine plans, there's supposed to be some more workings back here. So. So there's a source chute that's collapsed. You can see it goes up pretty steep. So possibly we can get from the 27 down to the 2650 level here once we get this all cleaned up. So we'll have to see how much we actually have to take down the ore pass. All right, so we're continuing our mine rehab project. So one of the things I had to do is we're going to remove these old stalls out of here. And uh, so we'd go up there with, our, with the ropes of the chainsaw and cut those old timbers in half. But it was actually tough to get them down because they're bound in there. So, uh, so we found out what actually is an easy way of doing it rather than monkeying around with a chainsaw on a rope is just to hook uh, the winch up to it with a pulley and uh, lift the stalls up. Um, each of those stalls is a little pocket in the rocks. So if you just lift it up a little bit, you can get it out of there and then just drop it down with the winch. So we've got the hoist or the winch hooked up to, uh, to it. We've actually lifted that stall up, got it out of there. And now we're just going to use the winch to, uh, to drop it down and hopefully we can just drop it right into this car. So we'll see how that works. So 
so I fixed up our crappy anchor. Now we have a really nice anchor. It's actually really easy to climb up and down here because we're progressing up the shaft. So, um, but I was doing some research looking at uh, our mine plans and we think that there's a possibility it's only 14 feet to the level above us now. So we're not sure if that's really true or not, but here we got an idea. We think, um, rather, we might not have to remove a whole bunch of the material to get uh, to the rest of this level. So we're thinking, why not spend a couple hours with the, um, with the Pelican and see if we can just dig past here. It might not be that far to get either to the next level up or this uh, continues on according to the map and we think uh, it goes up to the number two shaft where there's a big hole that was going straight down that we saw before. So I don't know. So we're going to spend a couple hours with the Pulaski here and uh, just see how far we can get and then make a plan from there. So notice tally marks on the wall. So most places they use dots like they did on the top and then the bottom got tally. We don't see that too often. So uh, yeah, we keep uh, digging and it comes out, which is good. Better than being plugged. You know, because it's plugged then you're going to have to fight with something. So as long as it keeps coming down, it's good. Um, who knows how much there is to shovel, but I mean, uh, I don't know why we never thought of doing this before. We've only done it for an hour so far, so we'll see what we can get done in the next couple hours. Okay, so there's about two and a half hours of shoveling, and we're getting kind of tired. So we did bring quite a bit down. The floor is really covered now, but we're not seeing an end, but that's the way it goes. You know, you just go, and then all of a sudden, you're through, but... We don't know how much is left, but we're going to go up top and see if we can find a sinkhole, which is always exciting. <laughs> Sometimes the sinkholes, uh, you know, if the rock's coming down, it came from somewhere. Sometimes the sinkholes aren't where you think they are. Let's have a look. So this is a ladder that uh, we're using to uh, restore uh, the ore bin in the number one shaft. So. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but this is the, the number one shaft. We're 400 feet back. This was originally a three compartment shaft. So um, there was an ore bin on that side and we're rebuilding this ore bin. Um, so the ladder's going all the way up there to the uh, a level about 60 feet above there. So we've got to put one more level in a uh, ladder up in there. Um, so we're using ropes to go up and down um, these ladders for safety. So normally uh, the ladder, you know, would only go up, say, uh, 15 feet to a platform here. There's a platform up there. And then, uh, uh, you know, and then the ladder would be offset. So it's not usual in the mine that you would have a, a 60 foot ladder going straight up. Um, but the reason we're doing this is because we want people to be able to see up the shaft. And if we had the platforms there and orbit on both sides, there wouldn't be nothing to see. So Looking way up there, you can see the, uh, the uh, level, the 2700 level, 100 feet up. Uh, the one we're going to uh, end this orbit at is the 2660 level, 60 feet up. So, uh, so at one time there was another shaft going up here. So we're just going to leave that open the way that is, and we're not going to read below the platform so people will be able to see. So the reason that we're doing this is because there is a collapsed... Uh, um, or, or shoot on this 2660 level. Uh, so we got to get all the material there. We're going to dump it into this manway and then uh, we can put it into the car and tram it out. Same as they did when they had the mine here. So it's pretty cool. So we would never use that to hoist ourselves up. We only use it for material. And uh, they're, they're just not, they're not rated for that. They're not safe to do that with. Um, I know lots of people said, oh, you should just hook up a hoist or a, a winch or whatever and you can lower yourself down a shaft. Never do that. They're not safe. They're not designed for that. I um, mean, if you're pulling a stump out and all of a sudden it just kind of slips and uh, lets go, no big deal. But if you, it lets go when you're going down somewhere, uh, it'll kill you. So um, we've had that happen where boards have gone up and all of a sudden it just wasn't engaged properly and it come back down. So you can't trust them. They're not made for that. And you should never use stuff for hoisting that is not certified and designed for that purpose. So it goes slow, which is good because if it goes fast, and all of a sudden something gets caught on something, um, things happen pretty quick. So this is fine. And then we have a tagline here, this guy here, 
Who can use that to glide it as it goes up a little? Because it can get caught on the sides of the shaft. If it does, they just have to back up and unhook the battery from the cable. So the other thing is we've got it hooked up to the, um, the top of the mine is hooked to a rope. So um, with the rope, there's a bit of stretch. If it gets caught on something, it's not going to snap the rope. It's going to stretch a fair bit. And again, you want to make sure you're not underneath that because when it comes down, it'll do some serious damage to you. So we had ourselves a pretty good day. Time to hang up the climbing gear and uh, we'll show you what we got done. So we are at the third ladder up. So we're almost at the 60 foot level. All right, so uh, we're done our war shoot now. So now we get to the fun part. We're gonna start uh, dumping some ore into the bin and trimming it out. So when you open that up, it's called pulling a chute. So there we go. Um, we're just so it goes, I think it's about 50 to 60 feet up there. So the very top up there, you see that's our wheelbarrow. We're just hoisting that up. We got all the material off the top uh, lip there. And uh, we're just going to grab that one and start digging out uh, our ore pass. So we had a big rock that fell down here that cracked this timber. You can see. So we're going to have to... You know, it should be good for a while, but we're probably going to have to shore that up. Maybe crack that a little bit. We can put a, a stall underneath that. Uh, so, there you go. See, it's filled that up. So we're just going to put the ore car underneath that. And we'll pull the chute here. So there's a number of reasons for that. Is uh, in this case, this ladder is a good ladder, so it's not the ladder's going to fail. But um, there's loose material up here. A rock or something could uh, come down and knock you out, and you could fall. I mean, uh, should never, you know, go up ladders like this without uh, without a harness. Uh, if you go inside of a manway, uh, you only go up, uh, you know, 12 feet, and they go to landing back and forth, much safer. But uh, you know, straight 60 feet straight up, uh, you don't want to be without a rope. There, so now we got our wheelbarrow up to the top here, and we're going to begin construction here to clear this chute. So, we're not going to have to take all this material out of here, we're just going to make a smooth road. It's downhill, so there's no reason to take all this out of here. And we're going to fill a bunch of this up, so we can uh, come through here. So there's our muck sheet. We'll, uh, we'll make this all nice and level, and then we can start... Uh, Taking and shoveling this ore pass out of here. So, all right. So we're not going to bother taking all this rock out of here because all we need is just for the wheelbarrow to get by and for us to walk by here. And uh, the same reason, all the bigger rocks we just put to the side. We threw some big rocks down the ore bin and it caused some damage to the bottom. You know, they, it's a lot of force and it hits the bottom. Even with even with uh, a lot of gravel and small material in there, still a lot of force. So we'll just clean up that little bit here, and we will show you guys uh, what the top of the shaft looks like. Here, I'll get on my 
on my rope. Hey, I can't stress this enough. You really need to be careful when you're around these things that one slip of the mirror dead, right? So you get too comfortable around this stuff for you. The safety is important. And the oil goes straight down. The very bottom on there. And there. That's the main hole level up down there. So we're not sure how far that is. We're going to have to measure it. It's, it's somewhere between 50 and 60 feet, I guess. But pretty easy for us to get up and down. And looking up, looking up, there's the next level up, the 2700 level. So we think it's only about maybe 40 feet above us, somewhere in there. You can see the old part of the manway there. Very easy. So we, uh, there, we'll put it right at the edge. We'll give it a little kick. Yeah, it's a little way down there. <laughs> Sharon's working on our road. <laughs> Did a nice job too. Look how nice and flat it is. All the way back here now. And uh, we're just starting to, we've got about half a dozen loads down the overshoot already. Just keep uh, working this st stuff down and it keeps coming down from the top. So in a day or two, go up there on top and we'll see where all this stuff's coming from. Maybe we'll see some bigger holes up there. The chief cook and bottle washer. Then I don't have to take any suggestions from you. The dust. <laughs> found this bottle in the mine and uh, thought well you know that looks like a more modern bottle I don't see how it could be here so this kind of bottle had me really stumped I thought well this looks like a new bottle how could that possibly be because we know no one's been in this mine in that part of the mine for for 80 to 90 years and this research and uh, these bottles were actually around before stubbies were stubbies were uh, common uh, they invented around 1961 so we decided to do a little research to get the bottom of this. So went and bought a case of, uh, of kokanee with the newer glass ones and compared the two of them. So now you look at the one next to the other, there's a couple differences here. So um, obviously the kokanee is a lot darker, the glass is darker. It also looks like uh, it's shorter. So uh, the other thing that we, we kind of wanted to figure out as well. And then also this has a twist off cap and this doesn't. It's got the pop off cap. And also the bottom of it is, if you look at it carefully, it's not uniform. It's thicker on one part than the other. And you can see the seam in it. So um, the other thing is that, well, uh, this one looks like quite a bit bigger than this one. Um, so uh, we measure them both, they're both exactly 12 ounces. Difference being, this is a lot heavier glass. They have thicker glass than they do these days. So um, same beer bottle. This is, you know, 80 to 90 years old. And this is a modern one. So... That uh, solved the mystery of, uh, you know, why we found a new uh, beer bottle in an old mine. We didn't. We found an old beer bottle in an old mine. Hey everyone, so uh, thanks for joining us. That's about all the time we're going to have for this week. Um, we're just going to give you a quick little tour of, uh, of how far we've gotten, and then uh, uh, we'll put out another video in a week or two or whatever when we break through here, hopefully. So we'll show you what uh, where we're at. <sighs> All right, so our uh, our caterpillar wheelbarrow packed it in, and actually it's not that great of a wheelbarrow, so I had to buy a new one. So this is the replacement, and uh, yeah, here's where we've been working, and we keep working out. So this actually is connected to a stope, uh, which is below Terror, if you know where Terror is. Um, there's a fair bit of material to move out of here. So we've moved out so far. We've moved out uh, 24 or 25. Uh, 
well more than that now I guess because the bin's full probably close to about 30 uh, ore car loads um, but we've also been doing a lot of backfilling so all this stuff here we've leveled it all out this is quite a high ceiling but we figure we only need about you know five uh, six feet as lots and um, we just backfill the rest of it to make this uh, this runway all nice and level here and we'll show you what else we've done to back so all the big rocks we just kind of put them all against here we don't want to drop the big rocks down the chute because they cause damage to the chute uh, it's a lot of weight by the time it falls 60 feet or so so we backfilled uh, this all the way up to here so far so the back of the tunnel goes to there and uh, we might end up putting another lift on top of this to get it higher so so that's a fair bit of material there um, like you say, we might put a board up here and bring it up. Um, we've still got, uh, I don't know, eight feet of, of freeboard. So we don't want to block this right off. So, you know, it's kind of cool. People want to walk back here. We can make it level and people can see this. So, uh, this is our old wheelbarrow and we're just going to, we're just going to leave it here. So maybe this will be an artifact that will be of interest to people maybe a hundred years from now. <laughs> yeah. Going the other way, we'll show you what we've done here. So, it's uh, actually pretty easy going with the wheelbarrow, it's not bad. The trouble is you get too much material in the ore chute, sometimes it's hard to shut it off. If you have, especially if you have rocky material, if you have smaller stuff, it's easy to shut off. So we've made a nice ramp on both sides, so uh, we we'll try to use up as much material as you can without having to tram it all the way to the dump. Um, we don't want to fill that up because it's a cool vein. They were chasing a vein, as you can see, going this way. And they excavate that out so people want to want to see that. All right. So this is the thumb going down here. I've seen that before. So yeah, it just keeps going. See you next week. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us this week. We have a show every week, so we'll see you next week. Uh, check out our new merch page. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Music is by the Addits.